My name is Kelly Quigley Carey, and I, um, I am Terry Quigley's oldest daughter. I was actually a year old when um, my dad started teaching at Bishop Blood. This is how people will remember me from that time. So that was in the yearbook. That was my like my centerfold. He was coaching at St. Bridget's Grammar School um, just after he got out of college. He, my dad did go to um, Syracuse University. He played basketball at Syracuse University. And he wasn't really making a lot of money. And so there was a coach at the time, and he was probably one of the best coaches in the entire history of Syracuse, and his name was Bobby Falasco. Bishop Blood now started opening, um, was just opening the school, and the diocese wanted to hire the best basketball coach in Syracuse. And so they, naturally, they went to Bobby Falasco. Bobby Falasco turned around and said to Bishop Blood, you need to hire this guy, Terry Quigley. He was just the nicest, sweetest, kindest person, and he would give you the shirt off his back. It's a true family, true family at, at um, Bishop Ludden. And I think that's why they're, they're so successful. Our alumni are what makes the programs so wonderful at Bishop Ludden. And it's not, it wasn't just basketball. Um, you know, it was softball, baseball, you know, soccer, any of them. And it was, and I think that's just that rich history. So being honored is, my father had absolutely two loves in his family, besides of course his family. And they were Syracuse University and Bishop Ludden High School. And, or I should say Bishop Ludden School now. And those were his greatest loves. And to be honored and for the man to start the program, the basketball program and how successful they are, it's, it's just an absolute honor to have him receive this award um, and he would just be so proud. He would be so choked up about the whole thing and he would just be so grateful that he was given the opportunity to start that program and to be able to give others the opportunity to continue. My dad had said this all along, you know, with five daughters, we all played sports. And the one thing that my dad always said, and up until even the day he died, and even with his grandchildren, you know, with all of his grandchildren, all the kids played sports or are in sports as well. And he always said, you always need to give 150%, but you also need to have fun. And if you're not having fun, then you shouldn't be playing.